Once in the late 90s, I was a licensed minister, and uh, I think I got licensed in 1996. Uh, yeah, I got licensed in 1996 and at Temple Deliverance. And, uh, you know, so the next thing you're looking forward towards ordination. And we had some older elders at that time that were in leadership capacities. And I sat once, I sat twice. I think I sat a couple times and other people got elevated. So after a while, you know, it's your time or you know that uh, that next level is coming. So we had a group of guys uh, that started to try to pledge us like we're in a frat. If you want to get elevated, you better, you know, you got to keep me happy. You know, I hold your elevation in my hand. And so that got a little tenuous. And one day they did it after church. And I'm from South Memphis. I'm from the inner city. So they tell me, I said, man, if I don't get ordained this time, uh, man, I'm gone. That's what I said. It was completely out of emotion, completely out of uh, uh, flesh. Uh, I was wrong for it. And within seconds, that got to Bishop Patterson. I mean, literally within seconds. <laughs> so I have a meeting coming. And the first thing he asked me, he said, Smith, they say that you're going to leave the church if you don't get ordained. And I said, Bishop, honestly, I said it. I said, I shouldn't have said it, but I said it. And then he said, now this is a man who had just lost an election by one vote to be the leader of a large denomination. And the fact that he lost by one vote could be disputed. So he told me, he said, I've been around God's people for a long time. I've seen many come and I've seen many go. And then he says this, he said, but over time, Smith, I've always found out that God has a way of certifying his own. That hit me like a ton of bricks. And that certifying may not be at the time that you want. You know, he may not come when you want him, but when he certifies, he certifies on his own time schedule. And that was just so powerful for, to me. And it speaks so much to me that I think can speak to you. No matter what the forces may be that are trying to hold you back, despite the blockers, the haters, the folks that are, are setting traps for you. God always has a way of certifying his own. I can't tell you what the day will be. I can't tell you what the time will be. But I do know that God's going to put his stamp certified across all that you do. And God always has a way of certifying his own. Those who've been faithful over a few, God will cause you to be ruler over many, but God always has a way of certifying his own. Be blessed. Learn that lesson. Like, share, subscribe. I believe that God's about to do something big in your life. Have a blessed day.